uh, you are delivering the keynote address uh, today here at Data uh, at BQ Live, uh, digital transformation and creating an enterprise-wide digital strategy. Uh, what is the main, um, you know, point or the message that you want to deliver here to CIOs? I would say digital is here to stay. Number one, a small company has high agility but low scale. A large company has large scale but low agility. And digital can actually help both types of companies be flexible and also target for the scale. That's my big message. I think digital is an irreversible process, which is already set in place. You can use it along the whole value chain. You can use it dramatically in the way you engage with your employees and with your consumers and customers. That's what was my key message. Okay. Uh, I think it's been established that the IT is no longer just an enabler but a growth driver. Uh, what are the possibilities going forward in terms of new business models and what PepsiCo itself is doing to create a digital enterprise in the face of competition? Uh, I, I think that's a great question. I think IT will permeate or digital will permeate every aspect of the business. Take for, uh, you know, business models is an obvious one. What you're seeing in e-commerce, what you're seeing in direct to home, etc. They're obvious ones. But take something like, we have a big program with farmers across the country. We have worked with Vodafone to develop a special app, okay, which warns farmers about the kind of uh, weather pattern changes that they could see for their crop, which is potato, which is very, very sensitive. So a very simple thing like that is part of a larger digital strategy. I think when you're sourcing, uh, doing everything in an open, transparent way is a great way to you know, push digital strategy. When you're engaging with consumers, social listening is a great digital strategy. Engaging with your own employees and generating buy-in for your strategy and the values is another way to you know, push the digital boundaries. So the company can use right through its value chain digital in a more effective way. The benefits of digital are much more responsive, much more humbler companies, and hence you'll be able to adapt with a very fast changing world. Okay, uh, you brought up uh, consumers in uh, the digital world, you know, that is an, a completely different dimension because expectations from the consumers also keep changing. Uh, so how have you, uh, you know, adopted or adapted to uh, customer needs in this changing digital world and how are you entering new markets as well? Absolutely. A lot of industries use consumers to co-create, you know, the publishing industry as an example. Okay. Many industries use consumers to co-create content, to co-create products. That's a great uh, use of it. Equally, you can use consumers as by testing a beta version. You put out a rough and ready version and say, hey, now talk to me about it. Like the software industry does that quite often. Okay. A lot of the apps do that uh, very often. Okay. So depending on the industry you are in, okay, you can use digital either to co-create content or to get feedback or to actually target your messaging better. So it depends on the industry you're in, but in every single industry, there is a role for it. When you, when you are in an industry where service plays an important role, I think digital can be a fantastic way of getting more feedback as opposed to just collecting plain forms and feedback. The airline industry, the restaurant industry, etc., can use digital very, very differently. So I think right through the activities that you have with your consumer and customer, Digital can actually help you fine tune it and really manage, I think, your enterprise in a much better manner. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.